Morning guys, August 14th, Saturday morning here in Rusty, Rhode Island. So, uh, got the ventilation blowing everything, taking that smell out the back door, so we'll go out the front. So it's uh, time to put some primer on the tailgate. I had some of that uh, ship primer left over. I like to use that as a base, and then I'll build off of that with uh, the white primer. But it's a primer sealer type primer that uh, inhibits rust. Whew, it's still a little smoky in there. I'm going to let that clear out. So the 36 Chevrolet has been on the market twice. I put it up for about six to eight weeks and I take it down. Then I put it up again. That way I make sure I stay up on top of the ads. Otherwise you end up getting buried in the bottom of the stack. But if you refresh your ad... But I'm not getting uh, the type of attention I thought I might get. I had one guy out of Maine that really wanted it, but I guess just the distance of travel. And I told him he could drive the thing home. I let him use the license plates. And but uh, I'm not lucky. So I'm thinking now about doing a Texaco truck, the Texaco Star. I'm thinking about taking and sanding it down and putting the Texaco colors on it. Similar to what I did with the golf truck. With the, uh, it'd be a Texaco service truck. 36, I use those colors. So it would be a Texaco red. And it would have the star on the door. And, uh, you know, the appropriate a tire in the rear. I'm also thinking on these fenders that I'm going to take some metal and I'm going to go straight across with it and uh, redo these fenders a little bit to try to match the front fenders. You can see how I attached the front fender straight across. I'm thinking I'm going to do the same thing on these fenders. You can see down low here it goes across so the whole thing would just flatten out across here with a flange on the inside that would bolt. That's kind of where I'm thinking I might go on this. I don't know. It's not selling as it is. I got to do something. And I can tell you, I've had numerous offers on the golf truck already. And I haven't even got it online. Just people stopping by wanting to know if it's for sale because they know I sell trucks. And I was tempted at one offer. But I have to, you know, it's like... It's like the new shiny toy. Once I get tired of playing with the new toy, and then another new toy comes along. So I've been uh, two days of sanding with 36 grit and applying filler, and sanding and applying filler. So it's still kind of rough, but I like to put this uh, base coat down and let this dry. This is that rust inhibitor from the shipyards. And then I'll go over the top of this with the build-up primer. So that's the plan. Let's see what's going on here in Rusty, Rhode Island. To paint the uh, 36 I'm not going to go out and spend a lot of money. I'm gonna, it's going to be basically the same thing I always do with the mixture of Rust-Oleum paint, thin it with gasoline. It's going to be a patina paint job, but a different color than green. Because I'm, the Army just ain't grabbing people. I got, whereas I think that Texaco truck is going to light it up and get to sales. And for a less than $100 investment, and paint and materials, changing the color on that, I think I'll make a difference. Al from Rusty Rhode Island, let me let me know what you think.